Welcome to Andy's Garage, I'm Andy Phillips. Today I'm going to show you how to properly torque your spark plugs. Let's go ahead and get started. To complete this, all you're going to need is a torque wrench, an extension arm, and then the proper socket size for your spark plugs, and you're ready to get started. Now it's important to know the proper torque for the spark plugs of your vehicle, so it's a good idea to have on hand either the Chilton or Haynes manuals as shown here, Or if not, the internet is a great resource to find that information, but you definitely want to find the manufacturer specs for the torque for your spark plugs. And once you have that, then we're ready to get the torque wrench ready. We'll go ahead, we'll calibrate it, get it all set up, so that way we can put these in and tighten them to the appropriate torque, so that way we're not damaging them. Now, people will ask, well, why is it so important to torque them properly? Well, if your spark plugs are put in too loose, that can cause misfires, which will cause a performance issue. And on the other hand, if they're over tightened, then you can wind up stripping them and causing damage. And then you have a real problem on your hands trying to get them out of there if they break. So you want to make sure that you tighten them to the proper spec, to the proper torque. So that way they're in there perfectly. And that way you have to get, you get the best performance out of them and out of your vehicle. Now that we're ready to start, first thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead and you want to exercise what they call it your torque wrench, which is basically you're going to go ahead and recalibrate it, reset it. I have a video that goes in more in depth as far as into how to use a torque wrench. You can check that out via the link above. I'll also have in the description a link to that video which goes a little more in depth. But basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and loosen it. We're going to take it all the way down to zero, which I already have it on. Then we're going to take it up to the max. And then we're going to go ahead and take it back down to zero, back up to the max. We're going to do that three times, ending off at zero. That pretty much exercises it and resets it, recalibrates it and then we're ready to set it to the proper torque for these spark plugs. So I'm gonna go ahead now, we're gonna go ahead and exercise this. We're gonna take it all the way up. And I'm gonna go all the way up and then back three times. And then we'll be back at that point to get ready to uh, set the torque for the spark plugs and put them in properly. But like I said, if you wanna see more in depth what I'm doing and how to how to use a torque wrench, you can do that via the link in the description and the link that was shown above. Wrapping it up now, I'm going to bring it all the way down to zero. On this particular vehicle that I'm working on, the torque spec from the manufacturer from Chrysler is 20 foot-pounds of torque. So I'm going to go ahead and get a close-up and I'm going to show you how we're going to go ahead and set it to 20. Then we're going to lock it in and then we're ready to tighten it in. And if I turn it here, you'll see here's 10, here's 30, here's 20. Let me get a close up. You see the 20 right there? So right here we have this dial, it's at zero. And we're gonna go ahead and just take it right up to that line for the 20. So we're gonna go ahead and bring it right here. And you can see we are on the 20 right there because what you're looking at is that lower bar where it comes down. You're not looking right under the number. You're looking at the lower bar. So right there is your 20 and you want the zero to land on the 20. If you were doing 22 or whatever, you would hit that bar, that bar at zero. Then you would raise it up to the two. That would be 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and so forth. So we're at 20. So that's it right here. Let's see if I can get that clearer. All right. Now that we have it locked on 20, we're going to take this, this knob here on the bottom, tighten it all the way. And now we're torqued at 20 foot pounds. So we're ready to drop the spark plugs in and tighten them up. With the spark plug attached to the socket, I'm going to gently lower it down in there. You don't want to just drop it in because you don't want things getting banged around. And then I'm just going to go ahead, hand tighten it. And now let's attach the torque wrench on there and we'll go ahead and torque it. And you'll hear it click once it reaches the 20 foot pounds of torque that we have it set to. Go ahead and tighten it. You should hear it click. Let's 
see here. There it is. You hear it? We're at 20 foot-pounds of torque right there. There we go. So now we know that we're at the proper torque spec. We can remove this. And then sometimes the socket might be stuck there on the spark plug. Just got to pull that off. Comes out of there. And then we can attach the spark plug wire. There we go. And at that point, you could then do the rest of your spark plugs. But that's how you would set the proper torque. Now that we are, we're secure that that is the correct thing. It's not over tight and it's not too loose. It's going to be firing properly. No misfires or any dead spots, anything like that. The engine will run good. So that pretty much wraps up this video on how to properly torque your spark plugs. As I mentioned at the beginning, you, you really want to make sure that you get that spec from the manufacturer, whether it be through a, one of the um, either the uh, Chilton or Haynes manuals or maybe even the manual that came with the car. If not, you can find it online. But it's very important that you find the proper torque, uh, foot pounds of torque spec to tighten those because you don't want to over tighten them and you don't want to under tighten them because you don't want to damage anything. You don't want to have performance issues or misfires. So that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope that this video helped you out on torquing your spark plug plugs properly. Please send me any questions, any comments. I would love to hear from you. As always, I appreciate all the support. So please like this video, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you next time.